And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Swain. This is going to be pretty awesome. So we're going to be trying out our brand new champion Shivana in a different build, not necessarily just all dragons. We're going to be combining it with Swain and heading on over to Noxcrya Arena. So we're going to try out this brand new landmark round end your strongest ally and the weakest enemy strike each other. So we're going to be having some extra strikes with that. <clears throat> we're going to be combining that with Armored Tusk Rider. That's going to be our, our main thing, is we're going to try to have Armored Tusk Rider to go along with the arena, because um, enemies with four or less power cannot damage the Tusk Rider. So it's their weakest enemy, hopefully an enemy that's four or less power. And yeah, we'll have the Tusk Rider and arena together there. All right, um, also with the arena, we'll have a card like Repost and Sharp Sight, like where we can um, grow uh, different allies before they strike so that's something we can do and we can change who is the largest ally also with the help of those but um let's see we got a little bit of challenge in here with uh dragon guard lieutenant whenever we have one of our dragons um screeching dragon also a challenger we have the arachnoid sentry ravenous flock combo because we do want to do damage because all this striking and dealing damage and then of course our other striking are single combats and concerted strikes that all levels up our swain because um, that's all non-combat damage for leveling up Swain. Another cool thing in here is Bright Steel Protector, which can either protect our challengers or we can give it a barrier to our strongest ally, whatever is going to be fighting anyway. So like we can kind of help with the arena, how we know um, something's going to be fighting, and so we can give them a barrier before they fight. All right, so that, that's our deck. Shivana Swain, this should be pretty sweet. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. And let's play our uh, Noxus Demacia deck. Right. Swain Gangplank. Usually you see Twisted Fate with both of these champions, but not really these two champions together. So we'll keep our twos. Mulligan the real expensive cards. So we want to lead with the Researcher, which will summon a random dragon for us. And then turn our turn, <laughs> turn on our dragon guard lieutenant. Pass. So of course we're going to our Noxus Arena. Ah, that's, unfortunately that's the worst dragon to hit because it's just the most expensive. Thinking about waiting on this lieutenant. Let's pass over to them. Spent less mana than we have. I don't think that they want to just pass turn. Um, none of those are great to challenge, are they? Let's play another one of these. Let's get to it. Come back later. We have different options that we could have not taken the two, but we'll take the two. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in defeat. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Stow the Russians! Shackle the prisoners! Wish I had the ability to play two spells here. We're just going to be playing the one. So what makes this deck so good is just these cards are so cheap and effective. You know, like Petty Officer, three mana, you're getting like those multiple bodies out here. Like this is just a one mana card that's trading with my five mana card. You know, like, and, and so yeah, they get to just keep double spelling because their cards are just so cheap. You know, 
one mana removal from my five mana thing. It's like they're not even done here. Okay. Which you know I'm playing I'm playing ravenous flocks also. Um, unfortunately, we just don't have our ravenous flocks, but I'm playing those cards as well. Guard the walls. I would, I would like to draw a Ravenous Flock. That'd be a good draw. Yeah, Petty Officer is still good. It was good the first two times. Still probably pretty good the third time. Got your back. Packed him good. Yeah, yeah, I know, those officers are annoying, aren't they? And yeah, powder keg, make it rain. Both their champions are almost leveled up. Still me taking four and going down to five. Um, which I guess that's just the way it is. Could, you know, single combat in here, but we're probably going to need single combat to deal with the, the champion. I guess this is just the way it is. I wish I would have played Sentry, which would have passed. I was just worried about like passing and then they pass. So if I would have passed, I could have at least had Riposte plus single combat. So, you know, basically, I, so I could spend like my two, like, you know, two good cards to remove their Leviathan, but then they still have Swain. I don't really have a choice. So I'm, I'm worried about, basically I'm worried about not like actually having the Sentry in play, if it's like being too late of them like going wide and me not having the opportunity to cast a sentry later. It's a good draw. Can't kill a Leviathan. I've whipped up something special. Never stop with these. Never stop. Their cards are so efficient. Make like powder keg. Powder keg's just busted <laughs> with make it rain. And then you know, one mana ravenous flock to go along with the arachnoid sentries. They ha just had both of those multiple times. Ugh, it's too good. All right, own one. Every other, like other two mana spells, do one damage, and it does three. Because you have like. Yeah, like Vile, Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror, they do one damage and then have like the upside of like another 1-1 one, one for two mana. You have Mystic Shot that can do two mana for, for two damage. 
Mega Rain doing one damage three separate times for two mana. That's just stronger than the rest. Comparatively. I would like that to, I would I would like that being more of a, a three mana card. Um when it's in especially when it's in just the same region as uh, Powder Keg, and so it has the ability to be three mystic shots for you know for the price of one. Just too efficient. My shield is yours. My steel is yours. Ham says, I, in fact, I would just rework. Eh, I would rework the card entirely. RNG should not dictate the game. Period. What if the card? Yeah, I could see reworking it also. What if the card just said, "All right, so are we playing one century?" No, I'm gonna play Bright Steel Protector so that we just have two mana for single combat still. What if Make It Rain was just deal one damage to two separate targets? You know, basically, uh, you know, so the same as Static Shock, but it doesn't draw. You know, it doesn't draw a card. What if it just did that? Like where you get to choose so it's two mana, deal two damage. Please don't have Trundle. Please don't have Trundle. Please don't have Trundle. Please don't have trundle. No. Oh. Yeah, if, if it's three damage, you, it's got to cost a lot more. If you're choosing the targets, it can't be three of them. It would have to be two. I am watching you, dragon. To your king. Man, and they have four extra mana than me. <laughs> Doesn't seem like we've spent like the same amount of mana. I guess not. Uh, Protect and strike. We just go attacks right away. Suffer my fury. Look lively, soldier. I've got your back. That was a Trundle's Ice Quake. I don't really know why I didn't play the Egghead Researcher right there. I should have. Probably. All right, so we're playing Arachnoid Sentries. Then yeah, we play these two. Question is, do you, do I have any theory of what the Lee Sin change next patch may be? And no, not really. Uh, yeah, that'll be a real interesting to one to see what they end up doing with that. But no, I don't. I don't have any theory for that, honestly. You're guessing five mana and five health. I can see that. What am I supposed to do? They had turn four Trundle, turn six they had Ice Quake, and then and then uh, turn seven Mind Splitter, turn eight Mind Splitter, turn nine Aurelian Soul. What am I supposed to do against this?
All right, just great hand from the opponent. You know, that's that's tough to beat. So let's see what we got. I guess I'm just gonna mulligan these. I'm not sure about like Screeching Dragon, I don't know. It's hard to beat a hand like that. Arachnoid Sentry has looked really bad. I don't like this card. <laughs> I don't think that we should have this card. I guess, you know, it, it's good with Ravenous Flock. Okay, well, I was gonna say, but we just haven't, we've never had Ravenous Flock, so, um, you know, like we haven't had that at all. But now we have that combo at least. So this is basically, don't know what to do here. The obvious thing is just to play Van, uh, Dragon Guard Lieutenant, but then they can play, I guess we'll just go with the obvious line. So like Brood Awakening is what I'm thinking like that they're going to be doing here with the six mana. Um, yeah, just Mystic Shot. That's also that's fine with me. I mean, like we're just trading two mana, two mana. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks, Wavelink. Glad you're enjoying all the all the ver variety of decks. I wish they'll fix the Shivana bug with the the uh, text box, but we are going to be the, we are the aggressive deck. We're going to be throwing down our threats. Shivana, Swain, and Viola's Fox. Even if um, you know, even though even though I don't get to really hold up repost. Attack first before Swain. I became a soldier. Could go single combat, ravenous flock. It's like that, or, or just rely on repose the next turn. I'm gonna just rely on repose. I think that's probably better. Gotcha's is doing three damage to it. Okay. So they're definitely going to have another thing to kill Shivana, but I mean, that's still, they'll take up two cards from their hand. I don't have any faith in keeping Shivana around. This may be better, though. Not give them the Spiderling. So no Spiderling for them. After the battle for Vision's Get back here! That egg? Did it move? Got your back! Love the Leviathan draw. Get me out of here. The age of dragons is begun. I go with the dragon as far as putting an additional threat out there over the Swain. I'm glad we didn't just draw another Swain. That would have been bad. There's nothing to fear. Got a bunch of spiders over here. 
And of course, don't want them to just be able to play Ruination. So want to attack first. They're probably going to need another Vengeance. Man, not even blocking the 5-6? That's so risky. Yeah, I was going to say. It's pretty risky. What's your hurry? That's... Ooh. No Vengeance. Taking it. Down to two. So, okay. So, them going down to two, they probably want to start playing their nine mana cards. Wait, no, because they can't play the nine mana cards, because then they just die to Leviathan. So they got. They want to play. They want to play Ruination. Yeah, they they gotta want to play Ruination. I don't know. This is worth it. This is worth force, forcing them to have something else. Can't just have Ruination. I don't want to do it on the Leviathan, and then they then they have Vengeance. And it is. But it concedes. GG's. I like our deck. I think our deck's been okay. I think that the second game, our opponent just kind of had an unbeatable hand. <laughs> yeah, it's been over for about 30 minutes, <laughs> Adam. But yeah, that didn't last very long. Uh, let's see. The Ravenous Flock is tempting to keep don't have any reason to. I just feel like Ravenous Flock and, and Arachnoid Sentry, well, they, they go good together. I just feel like they're out of place with the rest of the deck. Y'all feeling that? I know, 11 subs today. Crazy. Best sub day in a long, long time. So we're gonna have, we're gonna play some bonus games after this, and we're gonna have bonus games tomorrow as well. We made it, Rip. I wanna go home. Guess I'm going repost. Come on, Rip. Why does everything cost five mana? <laughs> My entire deck costs five mana. A lot of damage. Five one challenger is going to be problematic. I I should be attacking for one. They could be at eighteen. What time is it? Could be at eighteen. Good single combat. I am the blade in the darkness. So I think concerted strike and single combat are probably the two cards I need to play this turn. What order am I playing them? How am I playing them? Let's go like this. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Nah, I haven't been able to play the Nocturne Arena. What is this? Just saves three life. It's probably worth saving three life with that thing. Okay. Even up, we have twice as many cards in hand. Board's clear. Screeching Dragon means they can't play anything smaller. Or they can. That's gotta be another plus three plus zero card. Oh, Lifesteal Barrier. Gross. Um, okay. Okay. 
They had to just draw that Lifesteal Barry, right? Oh no, I guess they just didn't have the mana before for that. It is me! Still can't play two. Only play one, so might as well just play Leviathan. Gives me the, the most health. As far as blocking is concerned. Alright, I like that we keep on keeping the board clear. I'll take these trades. Alright, GG's. Yeah, we just took out all their, their threats. Okay, two and two. Reason. Diana's really good as well. So a couple great challengers. These cards are all fairly good. Bright Silk Protector just being a, a generic 3-2. I like all these. I think that the Ravenous Flock could be could be important here in um, this matchup. And I like the Sentry. Alright, so we have Sentry Flock combo. My favorite part of the deck, as y'all know. Strike no the mountain goat. I'll stop you. Okay, so we're keeping the mountain goat from doing anything more. I'm just passing turn. Wish we could play that Noxian landmark. I will trade three cards for this Lee Sin. I should be blocking here, because I'm probably gonna be fighting. Our enemies cannot hide. I'll see this through. Yeah, like I should should have blocked. So we're trading our Arachnoid Sentry, a single combat, and a Ravenous block to kill Lee Sin. But that is totally worth it. Could have saved the 4 damage. I just would have felt bad if they just didn't keep their Lee Sin alive, and then I would have made that block. We do have a Dragon Mirror match. Lots of dragons Gems are superb, showing up. Bad for the teeth, though. The problem with going stun is that's my entire turn. Like, I go single combat. I still play like arena or you know another dragon. Let's play another dragon. Just to get the plus two plus two though. I shouldn't have been worried about anything like Bastion or anything like that. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. We need to see these dragons deal damage. Only with a 5-5 five five, cause like, I don't know, like, double fell cascade. Oh, they still get the Zenith Blade? Oh, well that was a waste. You're covered. Yeah, still, still work out just fine. They are nothing. Maybe we'll attack with the Shivana, and Shivana should level up. 
What was the point of that? Oh, I guess just the barrier. Right. There are none like me. <laughs> media, I was thinking, well, my Shivana's still gonna level up. But right, they want to get rid of the barrier. Alright, so we'll see if the arena does anything. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Hopefully we draw Leviathan. No, more arachnoid entries. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. I don't know, this this arena it's like scary to play. No more hiding. Shield up. It's like, I don't even know I don't even know if I want them to, to strike, especially how they'll know about it, and they could just like play a pale cascade. Like I play the arena, they play a pale cascade. The more we learn, the less we fear. My flame protector. Where's my journal? Yeah, it kind of feels like just all these things are just spells in hand for them. Yep. <laughs> we have taken a, a ridiculous amount of damage from Lunari Duskbringer this game, haven't we? Your attack is obvious. And there we go. There's the Pell Cascade that they've been looking to use. Three out of four? Two out of four. Wonder why they play that on my turn. Ah, that's a good draw. That was the card they just drew. Just get them two cards. Moonlight guide me. And those two cards were the, you know, this Challenger and Pale Cascade. That was a great draw step, getting both of those. So I played this arena, they can play Zenith Blade. And then I play Dragon, and so we trade, have our Dragon trade with our Diana. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to play any of these, because so it doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess I could just play Dragon and just not play Arena. I'll just do that. The spirit gives to those who listen. Yay! They won their draggling, said no. Cool. What else we got? Ooh. No, stop stop top decking deep meditation. I don't like it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we got deep meditation dragon. The moon is our queen, the night, her kingdom. So Diana stays alive here, which means that if they don't play anything else, Diana will be the weakest thing, so then we'll have like Diana and the Eclipse Dragon fight. No, they play the Lee Sin, so Lee Sin will be the smallest thing, so we'll have Lee Sin fight there. Interesting. They'll just play their Lee Sin to die. Keeps that alive. 
they're going for the going for the lethal with the overwhelm. Cause it can have Challenger if they play another Nightfall card. I have to stun it so it doesn't have that. Doesn't Speak, have say. Challenger right now. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the field. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Here they come. All right, still alive. At two. And now the arena will have the Diana and my dragon fight. No, I was gonna play the Scourge. All right, man, that Egghead card was really good, getting the, the Nightfall Dragon. That Nightfall Dragon is sweet. Get a lot of dragons of that. Yeah, that was a good win. Good win against the Lee Sin deck. We're able to take down Lee Sin twice. The turn they played Lee Sin one time with the help of the Arachnoid Sentry Ravenous Flock combo in the early game, and then that that second time they just played the Lee Sin right to just die to the arena, which is what they had to do. And go for the Diana Overwhelm win, but weren't quite able to get there. We we're able to stay alive at two. Awesome. So Shivana Swain started off with that 0-2, but, you know, came back, finished up with a 3-2. And like I said, the, that second win, definitely like that one, like nobody's really beaten the the draw that my opponent had. Um, I liked our tech. It felt pretty good. I'm not, not sold yet on like the arena if it's supposed to be in here, but it, it did some good stuff there that last game. We were able to get good uh, removal um, you know, taking down that Eye of the Dragon with the Arena the first time, like, that was really important. Because, uh, yeah, Arena took down, like, Eye of the Dragon, and then Lee Sin, and then Diana. Like, that was perfect. All right, so that's Shivana Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always like seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.